A playlist automatically opens a set of entries. It can include web pages, remote connections, macros, and external applications. In this example, I have made a playlist that includes a web page, SSH entries, and some RDP connections. Let me click Open Selection to start the playlist. There we go, done. So when's a good time to use a playlist? Well, let me give you an example. Let's say you have to connect to the same servers every morning when you get to work. That would be a case where a playlist would be very helpful. You can make a playlist with entries from a shared vault or from your private vault. We're gonna make a new playlist in a shared vault. The first thing I'm going to do is select the entries in the navigation pane. Then right click to get the context menu. Look for playlist and click new. The first thing I'm asked is where I want to save this playlist. I want it to be a shared playlist so anyone on my team can use it if they want to. Choose shared and now it's asking me which entries I want to include. I'm going to choose the first one, Selected Entries in Navigation Pane, because that's what I did just a moment before. Now it's time to give our playlist a name and select a folder for it to be saved in. And now I'm just going to give it an optional description. Before I save this playlist, we'll go over to the Connections tab, and from here I can just double check that I've included the right entries and I could also add or remove any if I needed to. If you're wondering what default means here, it refers to the current vault that I'm in. Let's save it and test it. Great. So we can edit a playlist just like any other entry in RDM. I'll select it in the navigation pane and click Properties. And I'll just add a couple more entries that I forgot. Okay, I want to show you one more thing. It's the Playlist Manager. It's in Edit, Playlist, and Playlist Management. So if you get really into playlists, this is the place you're going to want to come to manage them and perform different specific actions. We see that they're divided by where they're saved, local, shared, or private vault. So that's everything I wanted to show you about creating and using playlists. If you'd like more information about the different places you can save a playlist or the different ways we can go about making one, those details are in an online help article that we've included as a link in the description to this video. I hope this helps and thanks a lot for watching.